Good morning, Southwest students. I'm going to go over with you today your activity for day 33 or Wednesday, May 6th. And just as a reminder, this assignment is for English, social studies, science, and math. So this one assignment will get you a grade in all of your core classes as long as you share your results with each of those teachers via email. If you're not sure how to do that, it's the same thing we did the last two weeks with the history and English assignment. But if you forgot or never figured out how to share your responses with your teachers, there's a separate video posted giving you instructions on how to do that. So your assignment for today says, take a deeper look at a familiar view right outside your window. Collect data on what you see and report it in a creative visual representation. Pick a time window. It can be five minutes or all day long and keep an eye out for what happens. Are people walking by? Birds hanging out? How many trees can you see? Find a way to visualize the information you collect. Maybe a timeline or a chart? Be your most creative self. Include this data display and your data in your final product. You could even do a drawing if you're someone who loves to draw. Your final product, entry day three, is what is life like outside of my window? How am I interacting with the outside world? So your answer might start with something like, outside my window, I see blank. I am interacting with the outside world by blank. You wanna make sure to develop your product with relevant, well-chosen facts, definitions, concrete details, quotations, and other info and examples. So your answer should definitely be longer than just a sentence if you're including all of these things down here. This is just to get you started. Now that we've read the AMI activity, you're going to go to the slideshow presentation that we've been using all week, and you're gonna look for day 33. And remember, these are color coded, so your day 33 should all be green slides. Once you get to a slide that's another color, you know it's time to stop because that's the next day. So day 33 is my home community outside my window. For today's assignment, you're going to take a deeper look at a familiar view right outside your window. You're gonna collect data on what you see and report it in a creative visual representation. And that visual representation, you're going to either do it on the computer or do it on a piece of paper and share that with your teachers as well. Pick a certain length of time. It can be five minutes or an hour or all day long. Make note of what is happening outside. Are people walking by? Birds singing in trees? How many trees can you see? You're not limited to just observing those things. Those are just some ideas to get you started. The next slide is the last slide. It's the last green one. And it says for today's assignment, your final product entry three you're going to answer this question in your Google Forms, which are linked right here in the red. And we'll go over that in just a second. So you're thinking about what is life like outside my window? How am I interacting with the outside world? Again, your answer might say outside my window, I see blank. I'm interacting with the outside world by blank. Remember, you want to develop your final product with relevant, well-chosen facts, definitions, concrete details, quotations, and other information and examples. In order to answer that, you'll click the link, which will take you to the form. I'm not actually going to fill it out. I'm just going to show you exactly how you would fill it out. Once this loads, we'll get going here. Okay, so here's the Google form you will respond on. As a reminder, you have to send a copy of your responses to your core teachers. If you forgot how to do that, there's a separate video that shows you. But basically, once you submit each day's assignments here, it will email you a copy of your responses. So your SDL email should be right here. And then you need to forward it to your English, social studies, science, and math teachers so that everyone can see it. If you only share it with one or a few of those teachers, the others won't be able to see it. So make sure you share with all of them. First answer is your first and last name. Do make sure you put your first and last name so that we're not confused. Who's your English teacher? You'll look through the list and select whoever your English teacher is. Who is your math teacher? Same thing here. Look through the list and select who your math teacher is. Who is your social, social studies teacher? Look through the list and select your teacher. 
and who is your science teacher? Look through the list and select them. This does not share the responses with them. It just helps your teachers to be able to see their own students instead of seeing everybody. So you're gonna use the data you put in your Google Slides that you collected from looking outside your window to answer the following two questions. So again, the first step of your assignment is to look out your window for a set period of time and analyze what you see and then decide how to represent that creatively. You can do a graph, a chart, a picture, but you're gonna insert that in your Google Slides so that your teachers can see it as well. And you're gonna use it to answer these questions. Your final product entry three is, what is life like outside my window? So your answer might say, outside my window, I see blank. Develop your product with relevant well-chosen facts, definitions, concrete details, quotations, and other info and examples. So again, your answer will probably be a little more in depth than just one short sentence if you're including all these things or at least a few of these things. So keep that in mind when you type your answer here. It doesn't need to be six paragraphs. It just should probably be a little longer than a sentence. The other question you're going to answer right here is, I am interacting with the outside world by blank. Develop your product with relevant well-chosen facts, definitions, concrete details, quotations, and other info and examples. You'll type your answer here. Once you're done, you'll press submit. And if you forgot how to share that with your other teachers, please see the separate video. As one final clarifying reminder, your job for today is to do two things, to creative, creatively represent what you see outside of your window and include that in your slides, and to answer these two questions in your Google form, and then share this form response with all of your teachers after you've submitted it. Have a great day, guys.